Hey guys, welcome back. I have a tip that works out for me every once in a while and you might not know about this. And it has to do with windows, and it has to do with finding something in an inventory sheet and you don't remember where you last put it. It happens to me all the time because I deal with inventory sheets like mad. I have years worth of spreadsheets and I store them all in folders on my desktop. And sometimes I spend minutes there flipping back and forth trying to find which spreadsheet had a certain asset on it. I'm going to show you a quick and easy trick how to find that asset and to find the exact spreadsheet that you need to open up. So let's take a look. All right, you can see I've got my trusty laptop here and I have an asset and this asset is not on record for my existing inventory, but I have old inventories. They're in spreadsheets and they're located on my desktop. So I basically go into Windows Explorer and I go to the C drive. And when you get to the C drive, um, you're gonna go over to the search bar and you're going to type in the exact asset ID that's someplace inside a spreadsheet. It doesn't have to be the name of the file. This is a common misconception about some of these later versions of Windows. You can actually search for the exact asset so right there, you can see I've got 041-20167. I'm gonna search on that, and look at this. It pulls up a spreadsheet that's someplace buried on my desktop in uh, this folder right here. It's buried, but guess what? Windows now searches the contents of files, and some of those files might be spreadsheets. So instead of opening up a spreadsheet to see if it pertains to what you're looking for, and then closing it and then opening up another one, you can see this is a very large spreadsheet. It takes a lot of space, a lot of memory, and it takes a long time for it to open up. You're not gonna open up very many of these before you just get tired of the endeavor and just shove off. However, if you do the search, you find exactly what spreadsheet you're looking for, and then we can come down here to one of the tabs, which is my tab that I know contains all my assets, and let's do find. Find 041 dash, what's my asset ID? 20167. And then I hit search, and look at that. It is in the spreadsheet. So Windows can search the contents of a spreadsheet and find that spreadsheet for you, which is so cool. You can see right here, I've got the line item. So if I'm looking for this asset, which is not in my current database, but this is an old database, this is an export from an old database that we no longer use, you can see that even though the asset's not on record now, it used to be, and I can search it real quick using the Windows search tool, find it, copy its serial number, its asset ID, and stuff like that, and put it in the new database, kind of effortlessly. But guys, I used to be like you, and I used to open up all those old spreadsheets, try to find which one pertains to what I'm trying to do, and it would take forever. So that's your tip for the day. Use the Windows search tool to find which spreadsheet you are actually trying to find. Too easy.